it's really great to get out at lunchtime, uh, even if it's just for a 20 minute walk. Our uh, little walk here is about, I don't know, 1.1, 1.2 kilometers. It's nice and flat, you know, even when we retire someday, it'll be a nice place to get out and get out and walk no matter how mobile we are. And you know, we'll still have little dogs to get us outside. We uh, had a golden retriever for our first big dog when my husband and I got married and <clears throat> we kind of used a, our first dog, Caslow the Golden Retriever, named after Caslow, BC. Any of you who know interior BC, uh, Caslow is uh, around Kootenay Lake. We absolutely love that area. We went west for our honeymoon. Um, anyway, Caslow was a beautiful golden retriever. Thought he was a lap dog at 120 pounds. You know the deal. And uh, anyway, he left us at 10 years old. Go girls. Uh oh, copyright. A little Canadian music there for you. Good girl, Michael. Yes, you're a good dog. Yes, you're a good dog. There's Tina. Oh yeah, Tina and Lon. Right here. It's really funny because uh, Zena's so little. <laughs> we get back after our walk and her, her legs are about two inches tall. And her belly's just completely soaked and, and dirty. But what's cool about it is that, you know, this is the for her first experience with springtime and the, the melt and everything. And uh, she does express her displeasure, but um, I think she's pretty okay with it because she gets to get outside. Sorry, I just thought I heard a car. No, no car. Hi, good girl, yeah. Come here. Oh, good dogs, yes, good dogs. Once again, Maple leads the way, right? So it's great to have a bit of an older dog to help you train your younger dog. I know it's not new, it's not new information by any means, but this is our first experience with that. Maple, uh, sorry, uh, Caslow, our golden, left us before, before we got Maple. Has uh, has passed in January uh, January six years ago, so 2015, I guess. And uh, we weren't going to get another dog, and then we thought, you know, we really miss having a dog. So we thought, well, you know, if we want to travel, if we want to kennel a dog or leave a dog with friends, maybe a little dog would be a good choice. So anyway, we decided on a poodle cross like so many different people and uh, we went to a local person who has a really good reputation for uh, for breeding and for you know having it not a puppy mill by any means like a really nice home-based environment um, and uh, anyway we got maple on March break five year five uh, five years ago so she'll be just over five in uh, on March break. Well, there is no March break this year, um, but uh, March 23rd, she'll turn five. So that's her six. <laughs> Maybe I got my dates wrong. I don't know. She's five or six. <laughs> so it's been great because she's a nice mature dog that uh, teaches Zena the ropes and the limits. And of course, I'm sure they'll get into trouble together as well. Um, but <clears throat> The thing that, that we've learned is that that early time you spend, even though it's really exhausting and really monotonous and sometimes feel like you're limiting your freedom when you're training a dog, because you're really not training a puppy, you're training a dog, right? <clears throat> we found that, you know, the, those first six months just lead to such, you know, well-behaved dogs. Um, Zena's actually um, <clears throat> a family member's dog and um, we gave a lot of advice before that family member got Zena and just said you're going to be tired and you're not going to want to take her out but the fewer accidents she has in the house based on human error with you forgetting to take her out or not reading her signs that she has to go outside um, the fewer times you miss her and she does something in the house, the quicker she'll learn 
that outside is the only place she goes to the bathroom. So anyway, seems to be working so far. Once in a while, if she doesn't have her good morning poop, she uh, <clears throat> she will go in her crate because she is in uh, she is crated uh, in the morning while I'm working online and. Uh, Usually that's because we haven't had her out long enough in the morning for her to evacuate her bowels. So, good girl. Oh, that was a good pee. That was a good pee. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And we reward that. Yes, good pee. Good pee. That early, that first six months, yes, you'll be tired. And yes, there will be times when you don't want to do what you need to do for your dog. But you're training a dog, not a puppy. And... It's better to make those sacrifices early on. Oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, wow. Well, that came down last night. It was a really bad windstorm here. And like I said earlier, um, a bunch of people are still without power. I'm teaching online and about four of my students who live nearby here, but further north, um, don't have any power still, so they weren't in class this morning. But, you know, very responsible kids. They still sent me an email using data and just said, hey, really sorry, I'm not there, power's out. You know, you can't argue with Mother Nature when it comes to online learning, can ya? <laughs> okay, girls, you wanna go to the beach? You wanna go to the beach? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the beach. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> And notice once again, like Zena just toodles along. Zena's name is X-E-N-A and it's totally Zena Warrior Princess. So when we found out we were getting a little black dog, we thought, oh my goodness, like she'll maybe be 10 pounds when she's fully grown. We thought, wouldn't it be a really funny, um, funny name to give her, like Zena Warrior Princess, the Lucy Lawless character from like, I think the 90s TV show. Anyway. And every time we introduce Zena to somebody who knows that show, they giggle. <laughs> Just like, like Zena the Warrior Princess. Yes, like Zena the Warrior Princess. So yeah, let's go down. Let's go down to the beach. Or you, you're gonna stay here, Zena. This is new for you. Come on, mates. Come on. Where are you? Hi. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, good girl. So every day I come down here, it's kind of been a ritual during uh, the lockdown. And I come down and I take up residence on this post right here. And I aim my camera and I shoot. I can't change my, vis my uh, visual right now, but I shoot toward this lake that we've got here. We're very, very lucky to live where we do. And um, I've been doing like a photo essay. And at the end of this whole thing, when we can finally get back to our normal activities, I'm going to do like a, like a fast forward version of all the pictures from, from each day starting in September and chronicling like my, my year teaching virtually for the whole year um, via photographs and the changing of the seasons with that, that, that tree that you can see right here and the lake and the dock and then the hillside. Canadian Shield, Canada at its best. Maple, come. Good girl, good girl. Yes, good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go this way. Oh, somebody stepped way down. Good girl, yeah. Good girls, okay. Oh, it's nice and muddy. It won't be long. It's supposed to freeze up again tonight, but... Where is Zena? Oh, there she is. Okay, good girl. Luckily, we've had two really great days of melt. Maybe three. Lots of melting. Oop. Ice. Acidic soil here from all the pine needles that you can probably see from the pines here. This whole area used to be a big farmer's field and uh, 
through succession the pine trees have grown up i'm sure some were also planted when the subdivision was developed but um it's nice acidic soil so we're actually going to be planting blueberries because they like acidic soil i've been uh, growing blueberry plants from seed that we saved from an amazing blueberry farm near Tweed, Ontario. We uh, have been buying blueberries there forever and we saved some one year and froze them for, I don't know, five or six years it, with the intention of planting our own blueberry plants someday. Well, started some seeds last summer and boy, they were slow. <laughs> they were really slow to, uh, to germinate, slow to grow, and they're still only about this high. But uh, I'm going to be transplanting them into some nice acidic soil in little pots. And I'll probably still keep them inside while hard hardening them off for another couple years. And uh, then I've got a spot picked out where, uh, where we're going to have some blueberry plants. So I'm really excited. Look at the girls. Oh, yeah. And Maple doesn't really go any farther than that far ahead unless she smells something to eat. Because like I said earlier, the girls are really, uh, oh, <laughs> there's a leaf. There's a leaf. The girls are really food motivated. So Maple will not listen if there's food involved. So one of her only, uh, one of her only behaviors that we're always thinking about. Oh, I know that's fun. Oh yeah. Anything's fun for a puppy. Anything new is fun for a puppy. Yeah. Are you a good girl? Would you like a treat? Would you like a treat? Okay. Oh yes, you are a good dog. I'm gonna go up. Oh, very, very good. Good girl. Come. There's maple smelling something. Oh, there's lots of dogs around here, so we have to stop and pee quite frequently. Yeah. Lots of stuff to pee on, eh, Mapes? Uh oh. Are you okay? Oh, you've got a stick on you. There, I got it. Is that good? Is that good? Oh yeah, hi girls. Oh yeah, that's the that's the poo bag. You don't want that. Okay, let's go. Good girls. <laughs> so Zena here is, um, I call her a York Sheepoo. She's, let's see, she's I think 25%, no, 50% Shih Tzu, 25% Poodle, no, yeah, 25% Poodle and 25% Yorkie. I think I've got those percentages right. And uh, we got her totally um, as a fluke, as a lot of people know, during COVID, puppy prices were <laughs> just jacked way, way up. And through a friend of a friend, we heard about an accidental litter <laughs> of two dogs that had, had been bred previously, but were just kind of living together. And there wasn't another litter planned, but yeah, the parents came home one day and nature had other plans. Uh, <laughs> So, so anyway, yeah, we heard about Xena and we did a COVID safe viewing of the puppies and we wanted to get one of the bigger puppies of the litter and Lena was the biggest. Most people wanted one that had, you know, a, a, like a dual coloring, like more of a Yorkie coloring, or maybe they wanted just like browns, blacks and whites or browns, that rusty brown that you get on a Yorkie. But we didn't really care. And uh, when Zena when first came home, she was completely black. But I don't think you can see, like, she's got this white that's underneath her main hair. So she's got very interesting color. Get the bag. I just use one bag. Some people might find that gross, but I hate wasting bags. And I don't mind carrying it. It's a little smelly, but I'm a mother. I've smelled worse things than dog poo. <laughs> right? Haven't we all? Okay, come on girls. Let's go. Oh, I see 
some good smells. Some new smells. Oh, there's a leaf. Oh, there's a leaf. Zena will get ahead of Maple, but it's like she knows she knows her place in her pack. And uh, I think in addition, it's more comfortable for her to be between the big dog and her mom. We may, uh, in a little while, and she's a little bigger, start uh, doing a little bit of training with a vibration collar, but so far so good. We also will be starting leash training with her very soon as well. We just wanted to wait until the harness that we want to put on her wasn't falling off or uncomfortable and she's almost to a size now where the uh, the harness will fit nicely and not slide and cause her any discomfort. Oh, Zena's exploring a little now. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, Nate, what have you got? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it smells something. I bet it's a squirrel. My bet is it is a squirrel. Or maybe it's dogs from this house, right? Yeah, Zena, you can hear them, can't you? Yeah, you know that's the dog house. <laughs> and not the bad kind of dog house. The house with three dogs. Yes. Yeah. Maple, come. Maple. Good girl. That's a good dog. Yes, would you like a treat? Oh, yes, good come, yes, good job. Good job, let's go. Hey girls, let's go home. Hey girls, let's go home. Maple, come on, let's go. It's a little windy out, eh, Zena? Yeah, it's a little windy. Oh, good job. Staying nearby. Oh, Zena's out in the front. Maple smelled something. Not sure what she smelled, but Maple. Maple, let's go. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Good dog. Come on, Zena. Oh, there we are. We going home? Hey. Shall we go home now? Yeah, good girl. Yes. Oh, I know. You need a treat too, don't you? Yes, you do. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Let's go home. Good dogs. 